Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Smenia Trunet, and welcome back to Soma, the underwater creepy explorey game thing where so far nothing has actually attacked me, but a lot of things have gone boo. But today we are heading into the power plant itself as we try and figure out what exactly is going on here. The game really loves just kind of making things shake and rattle a bit, and then, oh, didn't even mean to fall off there. Could have avoided it too, I could have just flipping gone up and around. Right, hang on. Uh, can I climb? Am I allowed to climb ladders? I am allowed to climb ladders. A slightly more. Oh no, I'm. Not that one though. The game really doesn't want me to get back up top there. The game really wants me down on this level. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. That's a bad thing. Hello, you are a massive robot. But I feel moderately confident I'm not one of. Uh oh. Uh-oh, which way are you going? You going over there? That's fine. I feel like I just should not mess with you. I feel like we could just maybe leave you be, in fact. Okay. Uh, burning hazard, do not touch. Thing. Oh, blimey. I've... I did, a, I did a thing and I have no idea if it was good or bad. Let's just keep pushing buttons randomly inside this power plant. That will work out for me. Uh oh. Does he know where I am? Oh, I feel like I should be maybe going this up these stairs. Quite potentially. I feel like maybe I could just go up these stairs and then just drop him. Da ow! Okay. That machine is bad. Be careful of that machine. Let's have a look, see. Who are you? You're like a big daddy, aren't you? Is he coming to find me again? If he is, I want to be dropping off the ledge. Yep, drop off the ledge. Can he drop down? Oh, I think he can drop down too. Yep, yes he can. Oh, blimey, blimey, blimey. I've been eaten. So's Ashley. Everyone's a bit dead. Right. I think if you get hit, you get one chance. And then you're in trouble. Right, what else have we got in this room? Let me just figure out what's actually in this room here. So we've got nothing of interest over this side. Nothing of interest at all. Right, okay, so he's just coming in here. Fine. Just need to avoid him, probably. Avoid the big lad. Yeah. Which way is he going? He's just going that way. And then if I'm creeping, he probably won't. Let's see if, he's, if they're good at, like, spotting you if you're creeping. You've almost got a bit of a kind of a slender effect where if you get close to them, your vision starts kind of glitching a little bit, which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's just pull a, le pull a lever. Yep. Just going to pull random buttons here in this. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, steam. Steam is bad. Okay, I get it. Big Daddy comes out the hole. I basically, as far as I can tell, probably just need to go. Turn the steam, turn the steam, immediately back out, and then go pull the lever and head upstairs. And ignore the big daddy entirely. He's just going that way now. His line of sight's not great. So if I just stay creeping, he stay behind him. I admit the the threat of him has been slightly reduced now that, you know, I've seen him and everything. So now I just wait for him to go around the corner. Then we'll just turn this steam valve in a second. Wait for him to go around the corner there, so I've got time. Okay, and then that goes off. Does he immediately know about that, or... You know what, I'm just going to run anyway. Run, 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 run. Pull leave up. Let's get going. And then close it again, and we are safe. Beautiful. Okay, nice little simple puzzle. Though admittedly a puzzle that's kind of really... Uh-oh, is he coming through anyway? I'd love it if he came through now anyway. That'd be a beautiful bit of misdirection if he just came through anyway. And just kind of, yeah, completely... Uh, and just kind of tore straight through it. That'd be beautiful misdirection. Now, hello. Have we made it to the comms room that we were supposed to be after? Oh, shit. This isn't right. I blacked out. Amy, Rogers. Oh, is this one of the um the survivors of what is presumably the human team? Oh, I don't know that, though. I might reasonably assume it's one of the survivors of the human team. But equally, like, the Amy and Roger and all these people I'm speaking to could just as easily actually be AI constructs who caused the base to go a bit mad. 
A crush hazard. Stand clear when closing. All right. We don't need to open that just yet. Because we've got an awful... Oh, we've got loads of stuff in here. Right, you. What have you got to tell me? Let's just touch the squiggly AI structure gel. This one's locked, so I feel like obviously that's the most important one that we actually want to visit, obviously. That needs an ID number. Can I? No, I don't have the code. Alright, fine. Same thing. Yep, login. Don't have that. Okay, need to get some ID numbers. That's my next task. Oh, we've got a map. Oh, I feel like I'm in um, on the right there. Uh, oh, yeah, you are. I feel like I'm at the where the you are here thing is. Okay, so that staircase leads up to comms, which is where I want to go. So I just need to get that one staircase open. But I've got assembly B, workshop. Okay, there's a fair few bits and pieces to explore in this area. Now, why are those bits beyond assembly B marked as scratched out red? Amy's sketchbook. Okay, so Amy's probably a real person then. Amy's the one doing all the sketching. If Amy is... A Amy can't just be a pure AI because she's actually doing little sketches. Oh, and she made a little comic book of her and one of her friends. That's pretty bloody cute, actually. I like that. Okay, um, I'm guessing I can't just open this because this is the way forward. No. No power or some other problem. Alright, fine. Well, let's go explore here then. This is Assembly B. Ooh, hello. Are you talking to me? Are you? Who are you? What are you? It's it's me. It's it's Amy. I'm totally Amy. Here, I'm tossing you some... I'm tossing you some... Computers. To... Because, you know, me and you and the computer. That was always our thing. Yeah, you should be able to see me too, quite frankly. Um, can I turn any of these off? No, I can't interact with any of this. Gonna get around this? I'll get to you in a second, mate. I just need to... I just want to have an explore around here. Hang on! I'm with you in a bloody second. Oh, that's locked off. Okay, that's just... Can't, can't access that at all. So you've got little arms here. Trying to build some stuff. What the hell happened to you? We've got a rope. Oh, he just said, what the hell happened to me? He can see me, and he immediately said... Can you hear me? It's me, Carl, calling from the floor. What? Right next to you? Oh. Right, so I'm a robot then. <laughs> because Carl was a human, because he was in Amy's sketchbook as a person, and now he's been somehow eaten and turned into a robot by the structure gel that's just eaten everything and made it into a thing, and the same thing has obviously happened to me, and possibly to Amy. Uh, but first, let's just do a thing. There we go. Hope I didn't just kill What's-His-Face. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, I'm really sorry! Um, hang on! Hang on! Let me just, let me just turn that back off again. Okay! Okay! I'm so sorry, Carl. I didn't realise that was about to do that. Can I talk with you? Hello, Carl. Where are you? Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Simke. I don't understand what's happening. What's the... I'm hurt, okay? I need help. Get Holland over here. Who's Holland? The emergency guy. Tell Jones Eve to call Omicron. I'm not gonna bother. You're clearly a robot. I'm really sorry. I I'm sorry. I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Um, okay, I'll leave that lever for the minute, but I, I can see that you're a robot and so am I. It's all getting very confusing. We've got Carl here who's a robot. He wants me to go, go and get Jonesy. Jonesy's probably a toaster. Oh, we can get some lore by interacting with you. So Carl and Amy were both attacked. Carl was captured by the machines and basically processed in some capacity to make him into one of the machines. His intelligence absorbed 
into the station as a whole. Okay, intriguing. Oh, hello. Oh, God, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, but who was he? Who was he? Check the thing. Cole. Ah, that's the original actual Carl. Okay, can I just drag his body next to the robot just to help me figure out what's going on here? Oh, I can get a flashback. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it? Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to data. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting a rock off. So I'm guessing they, when they're talking about the helpers, they mean those big ass robots. The robots were designed to just be left in here in peace, but when the robots, I guess, figured out the humans were just sealing them in to leave them down here to handle it by themselves, the robots basically decided that they weren't really up for being abandoned and left down here forever, and instead, yeah, everything went a bit wrong. So we've got this room in here. Can't access this room. Can't see why I wouldn't be able to either. Uh, maybe that's what the power's required for, but let's check what else is going on upstairs first. And then, oh! That is a door I so don't want to open, isn't it? That's just the door you never want to open, but I feel like the game may force... I, I feel like if that actually is yellow, I ought to be opening it. Yeah. I'm gonna regret this. I'm just gonna stand over here for a second. Oh good, I think a pressure override may have kicked in then to stop me making stupid decisions. Uh, Zeppelin cargo transport. Uh, oh, this is the... This will be the place that lets me go from area to area. Can I look at this to figure out why I wasn't allowed to do that? Flood hazard. Yes, I figured that out. Uh, I, you know, I, I pressed the button anyway, but I figured it out. I'm really sorry about this, but I feel like this lever... Yeah, sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry, Carl, but I know you're not the real Carl, so it doesn't actually matter so much. You'll be fine. You're a robot. Electricity's good for you. Now, let's see if that's opened this door. Has it? No, it didn't. Oh, I just electrocuted you for no reason. Sorry. Oh, wait, I figured out what I was actually supposed to do. This is just the ID on his badge. 0722. Carl Semken. Okay, that's probably what I was actually supposed to do. Uh, sorry, Robo Carl. 0722. Okay. Logged in as Carl Semken. Lovely. So we had an earthquake, multiple blackouts, heat shield burnout. Yeah, lots of problems, basically. Power collapsed in. Oh, we're in the year 2103. All right, fine. Right. That's okay. Now, what about this? Let's log into this system. Is this the same one? Yeah. Okay. Logged in as Carl Samken. Ooh, yes, here we go. Power manager. Comm center. Solution found. Shut down the highlighted sections to divert power to the communication center. So, the one at the bottom is the one by the robot, that's fine. The one at the top I can't get into yet because that door is locked. But if I could just shut down both of them, the comm center would be fine. Okay. Storage on. Ooh, storage on. Nice. Okay, so if I just turn, so if I just activated this room. I have activated this room. Lovely, I get access to a room now. Life is good. Now, I'm hoping there's something important here. Brief introduction to the black box. The black box is a precision implement designed to observe your overall condition, measures a wide range of data from body temperature to brainwave activity. This information is constantly relayed to Pathos 2's warden unit. Oh, that's what the WAU is. So it's uh, a, an overall AI thing. So the station can provide you with appropriate climate for every situation. For optimal performance, please follow the auto injector instructions to make sure the implant is properly applied. Oh, can I do that? Well, appropriately enough, it's not letting me install this into myself, which would make sense if I'm not actually a human. So, 
That all works, doesn't it? Lovely. Okay, now. Cut the power. Power status has changed. So let's turn that off. And that on. There we go. Lovely. Now the comm center is active. Now, before we go and meet this Amy person, what's her job? She's a service technician. Oh, the same sort of thing that I'm imitating being. And then... Sorry, Carl. Yeah, I know. It's, 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 it's tough being you. And that opens the door. Bum, bum, bum. Comm centre. Let's just close the door behind me. I'm glad there's levers both sides to let me do that. Now... Amy, what do you want me to be doing here? Oh, you want me to be having a little chat with the fish thing first, don't you? Just touch the structure starfish. <sighs> Wish I knew what that did. Oh, oh, it occasionally goes wibbly. What's all this? Is that where we are? Under the Atlantic Ocean? That would be the logical place where we are. I feel like that's where we are. Lisbon. Update on the defense measurements. Final effort by the global community to prevent collision has failed. Pathos 2 should make any final efforts to deal with the inevitable quake following impact. We're a century in the future and I'm guessing Earth has been a little bit hit by a meteorite. Okay. And this was one of the bases that was established. Godspeed and good luck with the apocalypse. Yes. A meteorite hit Earth. This is one of the bases that went a bit pear-shaped. For some reason, AI data, my brain scan from a century before, was reactivated down here. But why? With great sadness, I have to inform you, back in 2103, Pathos 2 will no longer be supported. Okay, so... Ah, which is why they were pulling out anyway. They were automating it and pulling it out. They were just going to leave it up to the machines. Fine. Jones, I know you have a much better chance of survival. We have the better view. Ah, so, there we go. It looks like Europe was probably hit. Oh, are these marks maybe what caused it. Maybe these marks are where meteorite fragments hit, causing massive, you know, tsunamis and stuff like that. Interesting. All right, well, I think we have an idea of what actually happened now then. Now, Amy, you want to talk? Hello. Lumar link broken, manual input required. All right, what do I need to manual input? I want to be talking to Theta, right? So, oh, no, 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 not that. I want to be talking 2202. Two, two. That's where Amy was, right? And then just let's get an alignment. No. Done. Lovely. Hello, Amy? 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 Or not? Maybe not. Lambda! Hello, Lambda. Can you hear me? Hey, are you there? I found the domed ceiling. It was above the domed floor. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared. Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? Um, I'm a robot. Everyone's a robot. Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Epsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I, I think he was in pain. I'm not sure what to do. He said he was hurting. Uh, sort of. I, I don't know. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Oh, I know what that is. I know what that is. That's the, that's the station I was already aboard. That's... Oh, flip. Everything's a little bit Bioshock. Oh. No, I didn't fail the event. I'm fine. What the hell? How is this possible? You're not a human. You're a robot. Oh, I'm so a robot. This isn't... This is insane! Well, if I am a person, then I've been modified for all the, the wibbly structures I've been touching. Can't get through here. Uh, oh! Hello! Can I just jump? Oh, blimey. I'm under the sea. 
and I'm all flickery. And I may or may not be a robot. Can I run? Oh, I can run under the sea. That's bloody convenient. Let's head to Flipping Lambda. Oh, this seems to be the only way I can go. I just need to keep heading on and finding green lights, I'm guessing. The fact there are lights out here suggests that people were intended to walk along this route. That was expected. Which is interesting. Hello! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You've got a red light. Hello? Are we going to be friends? You're about to murder me. That was a murder. Right. Let's not go up to him again. Next time, let's avoid him. Universal law of video games. Red is bad. Don't go near that guy. Just sneak around the outside and go the other way. Oh, 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 blimey. Right, go, 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 go past him. Yeah, just ignore that guy. Ignore that guy completely. My vision's not flickering anymore. That means he's probably not following me. Ooh, shuttle station. Upsilon B. Let's push a button. Yes, let me in. Let, I said let me in. Oh, flip. That's not working very well. Right, what do you need me to do? Ooh, we've got power to be doing. I'm just going to kill all the power and see what that does. How's that done? Emergency override of some description? Yes. Oh, it wasn't the power. It was a lock. Okay, killing all the power because it was a lock. I see. Swipe on it all. No problem. Here you go. And repressurization, I'm guessing, is occurring. Lovely. Ha. <sighs> And here we are in an even creepier, darker new area. Oh, bloody hell. Ooh, where did I get a flashlight? That's a very good question. Maybe I've just flipping grown one out of my robot arm. Because I'm a rob... Simon's getting a bit slow at this point. Like, literally, he's saying on the um, on the thing, Oh my goodness, there's, there's crazed robots that think there are humans everywhere. And by the way, I've mysteriously gained the ability to just produce flashlights out of nowhere and breathe underwater and my skin's glowing slightly oddly. <laughs> That's an odd coincidence, isn't it? Ho oh, ho! Oh. I think the power regulator is broken. I have to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. Okay, feels like she didn't quite fix the power regulator, given the power's not looking good here. Right, missing that's my task for today. Fix the power regulator. Insufficient power. Alright. Can't open this door. Okay. Ah, we've got a tunnel. We've got a tunnel here. Lovely. Right, okay. Let's see. How do we fix the power here? Oh, sorry. Do I have to absorb the starfish first? Sorry, my mistake. Oh, now I've gone glowy. It's getting worse. Jesus Christ. What the hell? I think I'm just freely... If I wasn't a robot already, I'm freely turning myself into one. Which is a, which is a magnificently good idea, obviously. A secret tunnel. Right. Now, room back here. I will say, I appreciate that this game doesn't so far have any really in the way of jump scares. It's all about atmosphere and tension and creep and underlying creepiness and the feeling that you're definitely doing things wrong. Um, and kind of potentially risking messing up more than you're helping. Though, admittedly, if it's lured me into a sense of security, there aren't jump scares. That means when the jump scare does happen, I'll be flipping terrified. Hello. Come in, you have a chat. Oh, bloody hell. Hello. I'm not sure which one of you I want to talk to. How are you doing? Are you? Don't hurt me. Um, are you Amy? Can I help? It won't let me die. Nothing is about to die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters of Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Um... I'm gonna be honest, Amy. I suspect it might be a little bit late for you. So... Sorry about that, but... Good luck with Steve here. He seems to be taking pretty good care of you, and like you were saying, he won't let you die, so... Actually, I'm just going to unplug Steve, and I'm going to hope that works. There we go. How's that feel? Is that, okay? is that better or worse? Good or bad? I don't know. I want to go home. 
Uh, your eyes aren't looking so hot, actually. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm messing up again, but let's give it a go. There we go. Oh, fuck. Yep, I murdered her. Oops. Well, on the plus side, now I can use this terminal. Power supply, stable. Basic systems, powered. Track, shuttle, powered. Safety systems, powered. All right. Is that everything we needed to do? Yeah. Hopefully that was the lot. All right, good. Do I need to press anything? Or have we, we pressed all the buttons? Oh, wait, hang on. What was that? What was that? Let's just close the door. Leave everything nice and tidy. Oh, everything's glowing now. That's probably much better. Lovely. Now... Do, 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 do. How are we doing now? Do we have enough power at this point? Power on! Ba, ba, bum. Shuttle link. The power regulator. I think I fixed it. Uh-oh. I may have partly fixed it, but it's not looking that good. Can't go through this door, though. That's a shame. Now, am I allowed to interact with this, or am I just going to... I wanted to go to... Oh, balls. Where does it tell me I wanted to go? Um, um, number two, Upsilon B. I think I wanted to go to theta, didn't I? I wasn't paying enough attention to the Greek letters. Can I plug you in there? Shuttle yeah. Activated. Lovely. Five. Flick switches. Oh, blimey, it's like train simulator. Lights on. Everything activated. Push glowy red button. Oh, flip. You are here. Go to Lambda. Yes, let's go to Lambda. Warning. Confirm destination. Well, can I just go? Can I just go elsewhere? Am I allowed to just go to flipping Omicron? Uh, yes. Am I allowed to just go there? I am. Can I just go where the hell I want? Is that how it works? Can I just pick my level? I mean, it said I feel like I selected that destination. I'm going to regret it. Oh, is it about to tell me this is bad? Ooh, no it's not. It's about to give me a little educational film. Well, edutainment. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station spans multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together, they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, APHOS 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Omicron. Omicron is Pathos 2's center for medical research and hydroculture. Omicron is constructed on the edge of the abyss and is, with the climber, able to study over four kilometers of depth. Well, thank you for the small educational film there. I greatly appreciate it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Slightly worrying beeping. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't have got, gone to Omicron. Or possibly it didn't matter where I went because I was going to crash anyway. Deploying emergency brakes. Am I by any chance exactly in Lambda where I would have ended up anyway? I think I might be. Right, got my thing. Emergency exit. Good. That feels positive. I do like the fact the game gave me like the chance to like go wherever I wanted so I had the perception. I had like felt like I was free. Before of course the crash means that I will just be going to wherever it is I'm going, which I'm going to guess is the next thing over, which I believe was Lambda. Now, ooh, we want incoming call. Cool. Hello. Simon. Simon, are you there? Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you all right? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not all right. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on out there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Oh, I get the feeling you're gonna be dead long before I get to you. 
I am just freely accepting my own being turned into a machine, aren't I? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Actually, doesn't really matter. I can breathe underwater. I'm fine. Let's just crack this door open, shall we? I'm guessing we're going to hear the rush of water and explosions behind us in a moment. Ooh. Light. Climb into the light, which is actually just a very powerful bulb, isn't it? That's not the sun at all. Well, that's disappointing. I get the feeling that Catherine knows exactly what's happening. Because Catherine basically just said, you know what? Just head outside. Just head outside without telling me, you know, like, and by the way, get, you know, breathing equipment or whatever. Catherine knows what's happening to me, I suspect. Thing opens. Here's a ladder. Fine. Back out into the bottom of the deep blue sea. I can find Lambda, right? I mean, really? How big can this ocean be? Well, it's the Atlantic Ocean, so pretty damn big. It's not quite the Pacific, but it's 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 getting there. Luckily, these sections seem to mainly be about just head towards the blue light, avoid the red light. Which is, you know, nice and pleasingly simple to follow. See? Nice blue light over there. Head in that direction. Blue light up ahead, straight ahead. Yeah, pretty simple, I think, to navigate under the sea. I mean, not really navigating, to be honest. It, it feels quite linear. I think I'm just going along a path. Oh, but I think I found something down here. What's this? Is this a submarine? There's a submarine that crashed or something. If so, that'd be seriously cool. Okay, into Lambda we go. Lovely. This must be Lambda. Or Catherine. Yeah, but Catherine's probably a mad robot or a human that's been eaten by a mad robot. I would not have much faith in her to help. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, I feel like Catherine just got eaten. Catherine, I've arrived. Would you believe Catherine? several seconds too late? Be quiet. Don't, look at it. Don't look at it. Oh, no, no. That's the opposite advice to what the doctor would have said. Creep. Don't look. It doesn't like to be seen. And hide over here. I think it's safe to come out now, she says. Clearly having been turned into one of them. Oh, blimey. You are so dead, aren't you? And room I can't access. Yes, you've been absorbed into the wall goo. Everyone flipping has been absorbed into the wall goo. Catherine, are you wall goo? Oh, I'm guessing you're actually a robot. Is there even a single human in this damn... Actually, no, we know there were humans. There were humans at some part. Here, robot. Have a robot bit. There you go. Enjoy it. Plug in Omni tool to operate. Yeah, I'll gladly do that. Lambda terminal 27 activated. Oh, you found an Omni tool. Very handy. I know. Thank you. Right. That's got that up and running. Sorry, now, right what here. have you got to say for yourself? Yes, no, I know. Not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take it anymore. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I... I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. I quite like her attitude. I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. All right, time for plan B. What's plan B? Oh, the Omni tool. The tool you inserted into the terminal. Oh, yeah, the door opener. Yeah, you can pull my Cortex chip and put it into the Omni tool. What's a Cortex chip? It'll be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Come on, I just, I need you to do this one thing for me. Does that mean I get to carry you around with me? Because that's quite cool. Thanks. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? All right. Let's give this a try. 
I like Catherine. She's actually got a pretty positive mental attitude about this whole situation. Right, in it goes. Custom Cortex chip found. Shutting down Helper Jane. Have a nice day. Helper Jane had a relaxing voice, but I prefer Catherine. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Huh. Weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, oh, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks, I'll unlock the door for you. What was it you said before? Are you from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? Hey, Toronto's lovely in summer. So, this facility basically, they're acknowledging that the brain scans happened and that they were designed to be, you know, sent off into space and saved, which is quite interesting, which is just maybe this isn't actually completely fake, but in that case, what body is this? Because this definitely isn't my body, and it's probably robotic. Oh, let's give myself a little bit of a starship zoomy upgrade. Yeah, that's right. Give me, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'd like to think I'm getting an upgrade from doing it, but I've no bloody clue. But that one felt like it was off the beaten path, so it feels like some of these are optional, not compulsory, which is uh, interesting. Alright, so what was the thing I was supposed to be checking? Not this. Not that. This computer? No. Ah, wait, there's more rooms up this end. Right, I see. Five, you must mean this one. Data recovered. Ark, oh, lovely. There we go, let's get some data going on. Right, opinion poll. Are you excited about the Ark? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor then? I think it's really important we do this. So if this was done, if those interviews were done in like 2103, that was just, it was after people knew that like whatever it was, the the comet or the meteorite that was going to hit Earth was happening, and they're being interviewed to figure out what is the priority. If we can't shoot it down, what should we prioritise? And people are saying actually trying to save humanity by creating neural scans of them actually is a good idea. Interesting. So a big 5.1 square kilometres glorious glowing city that was entirely virtual, designed for humanity, or at least digital scans of it, to live inside if Earth was going to be destroyed and there was no chance of human survival. Interesting. Beautiful forests, more cityscapes, intriguing. Ooh, a survey for if we've just entered the Ark. Marvellous. How is my physical condition? Uh, I feel normal. I feel invigorated. I feel alien. I admit, I feel somewhat alien. Ah, indeed. Question eight. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death so people who wanted to could opt out and effectively be deleted immediately? What if you click? Yes. Your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating. Ba -ba -ba. Lovely. Okay, good. So people who were put into the system could just opt out and die. Blimey. Uh, oh, we've got, to, we've got to find the arc. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. So. All right, well, let's, let's check around the Earth. I'm going to check around the Earth first. Well, logically, it'll be here in the Atlantic if it never took off. This is the Atlantic space, isn't it? Arc within sector. Yep, there we go. And Phi was listed as the launch pad. Let's check Phi. 
Ark not there. There we are. Okay, didn't make it to fire, which people were saying we might have been the launch area, which is interesting. Oh, flip. That looks like a bit of a launch thing. Lucky guess. Marvellous. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no. It's on Earth. It's so close to fire, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray that Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? Maybe there's still a working shuttle train that could take us to Theta. I doubt it. Just have a look around. Push comes to shove, I'll walk there. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't forget. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. I quite like Catherine and Simon. They've got a nice relationship that actually feels quite real. That she's, you know, quite optimistic and he's a bit of a grumpy misery guts, but she's now actually, you know, improved his mood quite a bit just by kind of being around. I think that's actually quite I think that's actually quite cute. They've actually done a nice job on that relationship. So we're done with this section, so I'm pretty sure now there was more up the road outside in the ocean, so we would head that way. But I think that is more than enough for now so I will pause this off here how are you enjoying this by the way do let me know I can kind of you know this is actually I'm kind of interested enough into how this ends to maybe kind of keep playing this but equally it kind of feels like now we've kind of done lots of the introductions to kind of some of the fun little concepts at this point I'm just going on a great big walk to get uh, halfway across the map because at this point I've got Catherine and me and her have decided our ultimate goal is to get on board the Ark. So, having kind of done the ultimate goal to get on board the Ark, now I'm guessing the game is basically just going to say, Okay, go walk to the Ark then. Just kind of head through Lambda, head through all the different areas, and you'll just have to walk straight through those to get to... Uh, where was it that the thing was? Was it Tau? Tau was where it was, and then we have to move it from Tau to Fi and then blast off into space. So maybe it kind of feels like at this point... Uh, we've kind of had the most interesting little bit. So I'll probably hold off now and this will be the end of my first big recording session. And uh, just let me know if you think you would be interested in seeing a bit more than what you've already seen. Maybe I'll just off screen some of the less interesting bits and instead kind of skip you forward to the next big kind of story bit. So let me know if you want to see more Soma. This has been... Uh, I, I like it because it's, it's not just like kind of runny, screamy, jump scary, scary. It's, it's scary because it's just slightly disturbing because everything's just not quite as you expect. And you feel like you don't understand anything. So... You find all these things, you just interact with them, and everything's not quite right. But Catherine's a, a nice, cheerful addition. I do like her, so I would almost like to hear a little bit more from her. So let me know if you want to see more. And in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerd, and this has been Soma. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Haha, <laughs> I'm a genius at time. Oh, oh, okay, this escalated quickly. I'd, I'd like to fly your drone. So good about a butterfly in a bucket. What does that tell you about the human condition? Are we the butterfly and is capitalism the bucket? What happens if you go right to the back in time? The very beginning of time. Oh, you literally just burn the universe.